You're watching News Channel 18 at 6 with Gina Quattrochi and Jeff Smith. News from where you live. Speed limit on that roadway is 25 miles per hour and the guardrail was in good condition so we felt everything was uh, appropriate. The safety of the Columbia Street Bridge is questioned after a fatal crash over the weekend. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. A Lafayette bridge is ruled to be safe after a fatal accident occurred there this weekend. Alexandra Dyro joins us now with more on this story. Alexandra, are all the safety standards being met for the Columbia Street Bridge? Um, well, Jeff, according to an Indiana Department of Transportation spokesperson, all safety standards are met by this bridge. The structure in question was built in 1992 and followed all design rules set out by the state. Police technician Matt Devine says there were factors that caused this accident. A fatal accident on the Columbia Street Bridge Saturday night left one man dead after he was thrown from his motorcycle into the Wabash River. But could the accident have been prevented by higher guardrails? I was told by our INDOT design staff that if we were to build that bridge again today, we would build that guardrail at that same height, if not a little lower. Indiana Department of Transportation spokesperson Debbie Calder says INDOT met all state and federal standards when building the structure. INDOT has to follow state and federal uh, regulations when it comes to designing bridges. So we want to design bridges that are safe as possible for our motoring public. Ethan Donahue went over the railings here at the Columbia Street Bridge. He was just 20 years old. Police say speed was a factor. After doing the interview, um, we, we suspect that speed was a factor. I just, you know, we would want to remind everyone to, to obey the speed limit and the way the, the bridges are. Uh, sometimes traffic can back up on those. The posted speed limit along the bridge is 25 miles per hour. Lafayette Police Technician Matt Devine says Donahue was going faster than this posted limit. Devine also says this bridge has not been the cause of any problems in the past. Calder says she believes the posted speed limit for the bridge is a safe speed for drivers. Alexandra Dyro, News Channel 18.